All right, here we go, some test review questions. And uh, what we're gonna do is look at areas under curves, which is definite integrals. So if we've got a particle that starts at x equals zero, moves along the x-axis with velocity v2, v of t equals 0.2, for some time larger than zero, where is the particle when t equals seven? So let's look at what we're talking about here. We're actually talking about the integral from zero to seven of 0.2 dt. And in order to solve this out, we want to use areas under curves because we haven't learned too many tricks yet for solving integrals. So right here at 0.2, we're going to have a line. And we're going to look at this line from 0 to 7. So my question to you. If I have the shape of a rectangle, how do I find the area under that rectangle? Here's my area right here. How do I find that area? I just do base times height. In this case, my base is 7. My height is 0.2. So the math becomes 7 times 0.2, which is 1.4. And uh, we want to know where the particle is. And it's at uh, 1.4 units in. Let me see if there's any specific way. I want Anything else I want you to have on that? I don't think so. Um, so where are we? We're 1.4 units away from where we started because remember this guy all under here is distance. All right, so we're going to have a particle that moves with velocity 2t plus 7. Find the distance between t equals 1 and 5. So right off the bat, we're dealing with an integral from 1 to 5 of 2t plus 7. And we have some ideas about how to solve this guy, but we're going to use areas to, to find this out. And in order to use areas to find this out, we need a really quick graph. The graph doesn't have to be 100% spot on. The math has to be 100% spot on. So here's my lines. And then my graph is 2t plus 7. So it's going to have some shape like this. And what's going on is we... We are starting at 1. We're starting at 1. And going to 5. And the shape that you're looking at for area is a trapezoid. So here's the area that I'm interested in. So area is going to be equal to 1 half times height times base 1 plus base 2. Well, how does all of that work? If you'll notice right here, the distance from the x-axis up to the graph, that's going to be the function at 1. This is base 1. The distance from the x-axis up to the graph is going to be f of 5. This is base 2. And then the distance from 1 to 5 is the height. Notice I got a trapezoid. It's just been pushed over just a little bit. So the things I need to, to determine are the function at 1, which is going to be 2 times 1 plus 5. The function at 5, which is going to be 2 times 5 plus 7. And the height, which is going to be 5 minus 1. And once I have all these numbers, uh, I'll be ready to do my math. And so what have I got here? I've got uh, 7, 2 times 1 plus, okay, this needs to be, this needs to be a 7. Here we go, here we go. So that's 9, 10, 17, and 4. So when I set this up, it's going to be A equals one half times four times nine plus 17. So two times 26, which is 52. And that's the area uh, under the curve for this problem. All right, with this problem, what we wanna do is we wanna look at um, a curve, x squared, and we wanna use LRAM with four rectangles of equal width. We want to find the area approximation under that curve from 2 to 6. Well, what's going on? Well, 
here's what's going on. We have a half of a parabola. And so we are going to look at this parabola from the right hand side of the y axis. And we're going to really investigate what goes on from 2 to 6. And it tells us to give use LRAM with four rectangles of equal width. So here's the deal. Um, I've got this um, partition of this graph into four equal rectangle bases. So here's here's the area I'm really interested in is in here. And we're going to divide those guys then into um, like three, four, five, okay? Four equal triangles and rectangles in here, rectangles, four equal rectangles. And we want to use LRAM, which means we're going to go to the left side of each rectangle and figure out what our height should be. So uh, if these are all the bases of my rectangles, like here's a base for my rectangle, here's a base for my rectangle, here's a base for my rectangle, here's a base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the left side of that first base, get up to my graph, and move to complete my rectangle. There's my rectangle. And the height is determined by my function at two. Remember to find the area of a rectangle, I just need a base and a height and my base is one. So my height in this case is f of two. So f of two is two squared and that's four, okay? The next one then is going to be right there at three. So I'm gonna follow three up until I hit my curve and then I complete the rest of that rectangle. And what is that height? That's the height f at three. Well, what is that? We put three in for x, we get three squared, which is nine. Okay, next up on the, on the list is at four. So using LRAM, go up the left side, get my curve, create my rectangle, and the height on this guy is f of four. And what is f of four? It's gonna be four squared, which is 16. Last one is at five. So we're gonna go right up here, hit the curve, and complete the rectangle. And what is this height? It's f of five. five squared or 25. So those are all the heights. Now, all the bases are just ones. So when I when I do this, there's a couple of ways that I can do this, but I can say four plus nine plus 16 plus 25 times the width of each base, which is just one. Or I could do four times one plus nine times one plus 16 times one plus 25 times one, or I could, I could do all those. Okay, either way, they're both correct. And then we just add all these guys up. So four plus nine plus 16 plus 25. And when I add all those up, that will give me the area approximation under the curve. 13 plus 16 plus 25. It's gonna be 29 plus 25, and 29 plus 25 is going to be uh, 54, 54. And um, that's all you need to do on that guy. That's using LRAM with four rectangles.